Right then, quick video tour. Three keys. Yeah, that's for the water, which is here. Fuel, gas. As you step in, you've got the rear bedroom. Light switch for the rear bedroom, lights, electricity is off. Water pump, light switch for the bathroom. Uh, there's a the bathroom, it's huge. There's the hot water boiler, shower head. Um, there's a mount there so you can use it for the sink and also a mount there so you can use it as that's the shower rail there nice big mirror there's the heater let's close this door there's the heater it's got three settings one two and three i've never had it on three because i think it's going to melt the walls yeah it really does get toasty um the table sets um, two seats here. They come as a twin. I bought these to put on the coach. Um, the other seat there was a twin. I've still got the other one. So if you want to make it in two, you can put them back, I suppose. I did it to one because it's easier to walk past. That's the only reason. Uh, table's removable. Mounts to the wall and there's a folding leg there. It slots in behind the seats. Uh, TV. There's a drop-down bed. There's the head height. I was trying to give you an idea of head height. I mean, it's about seven foot. I mean, it's absolutely massive. That's my, must be reaching up. I can just touch the skylight. I can't put my hand flat on it yet. I'm five foot eight. So that gives you an idea of how much head room there is. It's absolutely enormous. Uh, there we go, yeah. Uh, kitchen with the little fridge. Plenty of cupboard space, sink, toaster, what else, uh, microwave, uh, they've all got blinds, uh, front cab, so it's laid out there, it's very comfy, it's like driving a big car actually, um, this headline's all new as well, throughout, um, this, I put this in, I mean this is just temporary, is to hold the neck curtain here for a bit of privacy because the bed there's a bed that goes across here um it's just a sprung loaded thing you can take it off if you want um front seats here um i mean yeah i mean that step is huge let's have a look that's how big that step is and i'm still not even touching the ceiling with my head all right this seat swivels, there's a handle there, so you can swivel the seat round, locks into place. Um, let's stir fire it up. As he blows, the uh, gear sticks nice and high, so it's like driving a car. Um, there's your aircon stuff. All the controls you'd ever want. Uh, suspension up and down. Um, hazards. That was for uh, the door. Been disconnected. USB port, uh, twin USB connections. These are for the lights, the internal lights. Those are the big ones. Um, sunroof, front and back. That's the compressor for the aircon. That's the boot latch release. Uh, that's for the light inside the boot. And that's a reversing horn. <laughs> Obviously, don't put that on. Um, Talking of horns, uh, the original horn that this comes with is pretty puny. 
So I put a train horn on this, and uh, believe me, when you toot that thing, people get out of the way. But it's quite comfy. New carpets in front. Um, but yeah, these are surprisingly comfy chairs. These two chairs I got as a pair, and they came out of a Kia Sedona. But you know, they're comfy. Um, and they do, they fall flat and there's a tray on the top. Um, but when these both fall flat, the, the, the single bed goes across here. Um, it's a lovely engine, very, very smooth. Never had a problem with the engine or the mechanics. Uh, gearbox is lovely. But um, overall, it's a very nice drive. Your, with your fake wood trim. <laughs> uh, it does have electric mirrors on both sides. There's the controller thing for that. Uh, there's a power point there. I'll stick with it later. Uh, see what we've got. There's the air pressure gauge. Uh, yeah, air pressure gauge, uh, air con, handbrake. We got here. We've got engine temperature, revs, speed, fuel. Whoever gets this is going to have half a tank of fuel unless I use it. Uh, there's the entertainment system. Uh, it does have sat nav built into it, as well as lots of other glorious things. Um, it's got a remote control as well. Don't ask me why a car stereo thing has got remote control, but you know, crackers it really is. But certainly that's quite good. Uh, what else is there to say? Um, there's a big deep pocket there which lifts up, slot things in. This seat doesn't swivel unfortunately, because I just didn't have enough space uh, when it was fitted. Because on this side. There's a nice cutout. Um, this seat is designed to swivel. That one didn't exist. So when I put it in, it's snug up against that pocket there. I'm sure if you took that pocket out and, and cut around, you'd have enough space for this to swivel. Um, but for me, it's just, uh, it wasn't necessary, it's too much work. Uh, in behind there is a fuse box, fuse panel. Um, uh, Behind this is a blower motor, huge big thing. Um, tucked in behind the seat there, or that way, is a fire extinguisher and a first aid kit. Uh, curtains, curtain track, all the way around. Lights. Uh, let's have a look, tell me, so you can see the, the way it's laid out from the front. That's basically it, really. So that's my little motorhome, looking for a new home.